16 years old female presented with history of road traffic accident followed by left eye bulge, redness, pain, eyelid drooping and loss of movement since 25 days. On examination, left-sided chemosis, proptosis, ptosis, orbital brui was present. Left-sided third, fourth, sixth cranial nerve with total external of thelmoplegia was present along with bilateral vision of 6 by 24. The patient underwent radiological evaluation which shows left-sided dilated and tortuous superior ophthalmic vein along with left exophthalmos. Digital subtraction angiography of the patient was done which confirmed Barrow's type A carotico-cavernous fistula. There were following options for the treatment of this patient. Manual compression therapy, transvenous embolization, transarterial embolization, Surgical ligation and trapping of the fistula, transcavernous repair. We chose transarterial balloon assisted coil and liquid embolizing material fistula repair as balloon ensures patency of the parent vessel during coil and glue embolization. Parents coil and glue embolization can be performed. Balloon being super compliant, therefore, can be inflated without injury to the vessel or any risk of vessel spasm. The following were the hardwares that were required during this intervention. Femoral sheet, 8 French, Cook Medical, Bloomington, Indiana, USA. Guiding catheter, 6 French Envoy, Cordman Neuro, Rainham, Massachusetts, USA. Microcatheter Echelon, Metronic, Dublin, Ireland. This is used as the catheter is DMSO, that is dimethyl sulfoxide compatible. Transform occlusion balloon catheter. Stryker, Neurovascular, Fremont, California, USA. Liquid Embolic System, Menox 18. Merrill Life Sciences, India Private Limited. Target 360 Standard Coils, Stryker, Neurovascular, Fremont, California, USA. After taking proper consent of the patient, the patient is shifted to DSA lab where the patient is laid supine. General anesthesia is given. Bilateral groin is painted and draped. Bilateral femoral artery cannulation is done by 8 French femoral sheath. A 6 French envoy guiding catheter is passed from left femoral artery and placed in right ICA for cross flow and giving roadmap of left ICA. A distal axis intermediate catheter is taken up from right femoral artery and placed in left ICA at the fistula site followed by an echelon microcatheter with synchro micro guide wire and a super compliant transform balloon through it. Biplanar fluoroscopy is taken from right ICA, which shows cross flow to the other side, followed by roadmap formation. A full magnification fluoroscopy from right ICA is taken with visualization of distal axis catheter in the left ICA. Full magnification fluoroscopy from left ICA is also taken, which shows fistula site and dilated tortuous ophthalmic vein. Now through the distal axis catheter in the left ICA, an echelon microcatheter with micro guide wire is passed and micro guide wire is advanced further into the distal ICA beyond the fistula site, keeping the echelon micro catheter at the fistula site. Next, a 150 cm 4mm by 10mm transform super compliant balloon is passed via distal axis catheter in left ICA and inflated across fistula site. After checking the proper functioning of the balloon in C2 and microcatheter placement at fistula site, roadmap is given and packing of the fistula is started with multiple coils. Post packing of the fistula with multiple coils, fluoroscopy is taken which shows that the dye is still passing through the fistula. So the next step is to fill the fistula site by a liquid embolizing system through echelon microcatheter which is dimethyl sulfoxide compatible. Note that the balloon is inflated during this process. The fluoroscopy from left ICA after coil and liquid embolizing system placement shows complete obliteration of the fistula along with patent parent left ICA. Fluoroscopy from right ICA is taken and no cross filling can be seen thus completing the entire procedure with the end desired result. The video of the patient at 2 months of follow up.